In the heart of nature, a story unfolds, a story of life, of growth, of the delicate balance between man and nature. As we journey through the dense foliage of the forest, the sweet aroma of ripening fruits fills the air. These fruits, gifts from nature, are more than just succulent morsels. They are essential sources of nutrition, livelihood, and a symbolic representation of the abundant bounty of the forest. Harvesting these forest fruits is an art, a skill passed down through generations. It's a testament to the human ability to live in harmony with nature, taking only what they need and leaving the rest for the forest to thrive. But the story doesn't end there. Parallel to the rustling leaves and the sweet chorus of birds there's the sound of soft bleeding and the lowing of cows. Farm animals, the unsung heroes of agricultural life demand our attention and care. They provide us with sustenance, from the milk in our morning cereal to the wool in our warmest winter coats. Taking care of these animals is not just a duty, it is a privilege. It's a chance to give back, to ensure their health and well-being, and in turn, sustain our own lives. Every brushing of a horse, every feeding of a chicken, each moment spent tending to these creatures, are all integral parts of a much larger picture, a sustainable cycle of life. These activities, harvesting forest fruits and caring for farm animals are not merely means of survival. They are essential threads in the fabric of our ecosystem. They contribute to the overall ecological balance, promoting biodiversity, maintaining soil fertility, and preserving habitats for countless species. This harmony, this balance, is not just about taking, it's about giving back, it's about respect, understanding, and coexistence. It's about recognizing our role in the grand scheme of things and the responsibility we bear towards our planet and all its inhabitants. As we delve into the process, remember, each step is a testament to the harmony that can exist between us and Mother Nature. Harvesting forest fruits isn't merely an act, it's an art, an understanding of nature's rhythm, a symphony of colors, textures, and scents. Forest fruits paint an exquisite picture of nature's bounty. But how do we know when they're ready to be plucked from their branches? Well, that's where the art of observation comes in. The ripeness of forest fruits can often be determined by their color, size, and feel. Ripe fruits often have a vibrant hue, are full in size, and have a slight give when gently pressed. But remember, each fruit has its own unique signs of maturity. Some fruits may even need to fall to the ground before they're ready to be harvested. Next, it's about timing. Harvesting should ideally take place in the cool hours of the morning, when the fruits are at their freshest. The scorching afternoon sun may cause them to lose some of their moisture and flavor. And of course, avoid harvesting under the rain to prevent slipping or damaging the fruits. The picking process itself requires a gentle touch. Fruits should be carefully twisted or clipped off to avoid bruising them or damaging the tree. Some fruits may require the use of a long pole with a basket or a net to catch them as they fall. Now comes the task of sorting the fruits. They should be carefully checked for any signs of damage or disease. This is also the time to remove any leaves, twigs, or dirt. After sorting, the fruits are cleaned. This is typically done with a soft cloth or a gentle rinse with water, depending on the type of fruit. Finally, the fruits are packed for market sale. They're typically placed in sturdy crates or baskets, cushioned with straw or soft material to avoid bruising during transportation. The goal is to ensure that the fruits arrive at the market in the best possible condition, ready to be savored by eager customers. Done with care and respect, harvesting becomes a dance with nature, a dance that yields the sweetest of fruits. On the farm, every animal is a part of the family, their care, a testament to our empathy and understanding. Our day begins as the sun peaks over the horizon, illuminating the farm in a soft golden glow. The morning dew still clings to the grass as we commence our daily routine tasks. Feeding is our first order of business. Each animal has a diet tailored to their specific needs and stages of life. From the high energy grains for the bustling chickens to the nutrient rich hay for the placid cows, every meal is meticulously prepared to ensure optimal health. The next step involves cleaning. The barn coops and stables are neatened up, removing any waste and refreshing bedding. This isn't just about maintaining a pleasant environment, it's a crucial aspect of disease prevention. A clean living space is a healthy living space. Health checks are also integral to our daily routine. A keen eye and a gentle hand help us detect any signs of illness or distress. Regular inspections of the animal's skin, eyes, ears, and hooves ensure that any health issues are addressed promptly. Beyond these daily tasks, there are also specific duties depending on the animal. 
For our bovine family members, there's the rhythmic ritual of milking. With gentle hands and patient hearts, we extract the fresh, creamy milk that will nourish families far and wide. Our woolly sheep require shearing, a process that not only provides us with valuable wool, but also grants the sheep much-needed relief from their heavy coats. And let's not forget the chickens, our reliable egg providers. Collecting their eggs is a delicate task that requires a gentle touch. Providing a safe and comfortable living environment for these animals isn't just about ensuring their physical well-being. It's about creating a space where they can thrive, express their natural behaviors, and live in harmony with their human caretakers. In taking care of these animals, we learn the values of compassion, responsibility and respect for all living beings. Their care is not just a chore, but a privilege, a chance to give back to nature and appreciate the profound interconnectedness of all life. As dawn breaks, the fruits of our labor make their journey from the heart of the forest and the warmth of the farm to the bustling market. This journey, though seemingly simple, is a critical part of the process, ensuring that the bounty we've harvested and produced reaches the market in prime condition. It's a delicate dance between nature and man, a testament to the balance we strive to maintain. The harvested forest fruits, laden with the sweet essence of the wild, are carefully packed to preserve their freshness. Each fruit is a testament to the bountiful forest, a treasure trove of nature's offerings. They're transported in conditions that mirror their natural environment, ensuring they remain as fresh and flavorful as when they were plucked from the tree. Simultaneously, the farm's produce, lovingly nurtured from birth, embarks on its journey. From free-range eggs, warm from the nest, to milk fresh from the udder, each product is handled with care. The transportation process mirrors the care and attention given to each animal on the farm, ensuring that the quality of these products is not compromised. Each step of this journey, from forest and farm to the market, is carefully orchestrated. It's not just about getting the products from point A to point B, it's about maintaining the integrity of these products, preserving the essence of their origin, and ensuring that when they reach the market, they're as fresh and high quality as possible. This journey is a celebration of the symbiotic relationship between man and nature. The forest and farm give us their bounty, and in return, we ensure that their offerings are treated with respect and care. We honor this relationship by ensuring that the quality of these products is maintained from harvest to market. And so, as the market comes alive with the day's hustle and bustle, our products find their place among the stalls. Each fruit, each product is a story of the forest and the farm, a story of our connection with nature. In every fruit and every product, there's a piece of the forest, a piece of the farm, a piece of our heart. As our journey comes to an end, let's pause and reflect on what we've learned. In the span of our time together, we've delved into the rewarding work of harvesting forest fruits and taking care of farm animals. We've seen the meticulous efforts required to harvest fruits from the forest, a dance of precision, patience and respect for nature. We've understood the importance of timing, only plucking the fruits when they're ripe and ready, leaving the rest to continue their growth cycle undisturbed. We've also seen the dedication it takes to care for farm animals. It's not just about providing food and water, but also ensuring they have a clean, comfortable space to live in. It's about ensuring their health, their happiness, and their overall well-being. Because when our animals are cared for, they thrive, and so does our farm. From the forest to the farm, we've witnessed the journey of these products to the market. It's not just about selling and making a profit, but about providing quality, sustainably sourced products to our consumers. It's about connecting the consumer to the source and creating a bond of trust and understanding between them. We've shed light on the importance of sustainable practices in all these processes. The way we harvest our fruits, the way we care for our animals, the way we bring our products to market, all these actions have a profound impact on our environment. By choosing sustainable practices, we're not just preserving our livelihoods but we're also contributing to the health and well-being of our planet. In the grand scheme of things, we're just a small part of the ecosystem, but our actions can have a significant impact. Each fruit we harvest sustainably, each animal we care for responsibly, each product we sell ethically, these actions ripple out, creating waves of positive change. In understanding and respecting nature's rhythm, we not only sustain our lives, but also contribute to the symphony of life that is our planet.